Hey guys, what's going on? This is great. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right on, right on, right on. Right on, you know what I'm saying? Right on. Yeah, right on. Uh. Okay, let's get this uh, party started here. Okay, here we go. We're going to do, a c this is going to be a quiet song. It's a very quiet song, so I hope you guys are ready for that. It's going to go a little bit something like this. Hold on a second. I gotta I just did some fancy pass-through stuff, so I'm going to... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. How's it going? Great. You guys look great. You guys are looking good. Everything's good. You're doing good. All right. Thanks a lot. It's so echoey out here. I'm sorry about how echoey it is, but that's that's how it is. Oh, I like this guy, the White Walker. Look at this guy. Yeah, it's all all white. It's just like gray. It's almost gray. Or gray. Gray Dave. Dave the Gray. Hello, Dave the Gray. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I know it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not the season to be in VR right now, but here we are. It's not VR season, but we're all here, and that's what matters, right? No matter what season it is, we're all here. All right, good. I feel like President Clinton right now. If I could, if you could see me biting my lower lip while I'm doing this. Yeah, that would be it. All right, uh, I'm gonna do some. These are a lot of new songs today. I hope you, I hope you're excited, or as not excited as I am, about not not doing this. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, so this next song is uh, something that generally I don't do for. Um, I don't do it in VR that much, but I figured, why not? We're here because it really relies on some pretty subtle body uh, movement and you know reading body language and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just going to give it a try. You know, hands are pretty good indicator of emotions. You know, like right now, this is like when you see people doing this, it means, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. And then when people are happy, they're like like that so it's pretty subtle in vr you can definitely tell the emotions um yeah if someone's doing like the bird thing like that guy is in the back where he's taking both of his controllers and mirroring them so they look like a bird um uh that's also that just means i'm exploring so it means they're an adventurous person there's a lot of things you can do with your controllers guys you're going to be really stoked about that. Now, if some of you are only rocking the Oculus Go, which only has one controller, um, you can still do some pretty creative stuff with that. Or if you're just on a PC and you're just using arrows to mouse around and stuff, you can still find some pretty creative stuff to do there as well. So without further ado, this is going to be a new uh, experience for all of us, so let's get into it. Let's got to first find that drum sound that we, we love so much. There's so many, so many drum sounds that we love but there's only one that we can really
people out there, your persons and persons. If you're not, that's okay. You become a person of persons. Persons are persons. Persons are people too. I'm a person of color, a person of person, a person of humans. I'm a possessor of atoms. I have many atoms that I possess. I'm a person of humans, a human as a person, I'm a person and also a person of color. Everybody's got a color, so a person of color is pretty much everybody. If you think that everything about you is fully explained, I can guarantee that you know very little about yourself, which is a good thing. The more adventure you have about learning who you are as a person, it just simply makes your lifetime here on this particular planet even better, even better, even better, even better, even better, even better. There's no butter. I ordered some waffles the other day. They came, they were really kind of soggy. You gotta make those waffles yourself. Waffles are really important. But if you don't know who you are today, then that's okay. We got another thing that we can play into if you want to. Just part of everything, you know what I'm saying? So if you get so tired that you're wondering how to live, well, welcome to humanity. That's what you gotta give. Now you can give a shit, you can give a fuck, you can give a gift, you can give a duck, but never give into the thing that you think is the worst decision. Because we got things, I got things. You got some, we got some. Everybody, everybody, everybody thinks some. Decide what you can. Do what you do, do it now. Take what some things I Watch out traffic from the midtown tunnel. 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 So, uh, uh, any of you guys, are you anybody here a fan of hash? Hashish? Yeah, hash? Yeah, probably a lot of our European allies are into hash because that's all they could get for a long time because you couldn't really get fresh marijuana over there, so you had to get hash. It's always about hash. Um, so, I found some hash pills. Um, they're 25 milligram pills, so they're kind of on the heavy side, but... It's a really nice uh, thing to discover, and I, I haven't taken one, but I just wanted to let you know that it is, it's a great way to go. If you're going to go with a hash uh, edible, I'd go with a hash pill. No calories, pure uh, water extracted hash. You can't go wrong. You're going to love it. Okay. Now, if you're a kid under 18, you can't have hash. Um, if you have hash, you will explode immediately. You, there's, there's no... Um, it's a weird thing, but as soon as you get to be 18, 
I don't know what it is, uh, but then your body can, your body's metabolism can handle hash. But before that, basically, it makes you, it reduces your intelligence to like three, I think, and then you explode uh, because it speeds up your metabolic rate so much so that uh, it triggers a, a fusion, or actually a fission, reaction. And uh, it's insane. So if you're under 18, definitely don't try any marijuana products. It's it, it's really bad for you. You could you could end up inside of a lake, um, just trapped inside of a lake for the rest of your life. I don't think anybody wants to be trapped. In, in I think first on the on a basic level, no one really wants to be trapped. But then add the fact that they'd be trapped in a lake. That's fucked up. So if you have kids, if you know kids that are really, uh, really raring to use some marijuana, make sure that you dissuade uh, them, dissuade, sorry, them from using it because you don't want a bunch of kids like, oh, I'm in a lake. How do I get out? You know, and then they have to wait till they're 18. And then when they're 18, they can emerge from the lake. Anyways, just some advice from an expert, um, well, quasi-expert user. So hash pills. Yes, if you're over 18, okay? Goes for everybody. Now, how many of you guys like to use a water pipe? Anybody else? Water pipe? Big water pipe people? How many prefer uh, flour to, um, uh, like, vape oils, like vape, vape pens? How many people like just smoking straight weed, old-fashioned? Anybody? Yep. Okay. Yep, you do. Okay. How many prefer it in a in a vaporizing pen, like a pre-made oil pen or something like that? Oh, a lot of people here. A lot of, yep, and you too. I think that if you're a a, a THC enthusiast, I think that you're probably gonna like all the forms, you know. But, um, you know, dab rigs. That's a whole other level. We'll get into that later. And I know you're dying to hear this song, and I'm sorry for taking so long to uh, get to the song. But quite frankly, I'm very very afraid of performing this song, especially after talking about marijuana. If you have a vape pen right now, now uh, I want you to notice there is a guy, not all of you are going to be able to see this person, but there is a guy that's just roaming around the, the room and his hand is floating above his head. It's just floating out away from him, probably about like six feet. And um, it's just totally in line with his body. No matter where he moves, the hand just floats. in. The oh, no, no, it's back. Okay, sorry. Okay. But if you saw it for him, thanks, you made it. Thumbs up. Um, if you do see anybody with a hand that's just floating uh, outside of their body at a weird angle, no matter how they move, um, just congratulate them and make them a friend if you can. Just come up to them, ask them to be friends. We'll see what happens. Okay, so back to this song. Uh, if you have a marijuana pen or some flour, I'd suggest that you smoke it now because it's not for this song right now. Um, and again, anybody under 18, you can't, you, I I don't want to be responsible for a bunch of, you know, in the news report, like a bunch of teenagers exploded because of VR performance. So I don't want that. But if you're over 18, uh, definitely take some marijuana and, uh, it'll be for not this song, but the next song. So save it up for then, but you can smoke it now if you want. Obviously I'm not going to stop you. Okay, here we go. I'm using a new pass-through thing on my VR headset. I'm 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 rocking a a Valve Index, which is a great controller. Although I'm very excited for the next controller to come out, the next biggest, newest one. Everybody knows what it is. It's the HP Reverb G2, right? Second version of HP Reverb, running off of Microsoft's Mixed Reality platform, which is kind of a weird platform. Uh, everyone thought it was dead, but apparently they're making a new headset. But the good thing is, you can order the headset. It's a little bit cheaper than the well, it's a lot cheaper than the Index, and you don't need any lighthouses to track your hands. That's how I'm being tracked right now by these little lighthouses that are floating in space on either side of me, and they're tracking my position, uh, which makes it really super accurate. Like it's you know I can move my hands, I can put them behind my back, and they're still being tracked. All that shit. So that's cool. But if you can just put on a headset and just go, man. That's the life. So I'm looking forward to that headset, and it's cheaper, too. It's about the same price as the Quest. So there you go. But it's tethered. It's tethered, guys. I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to go and purchase 
or st or even steal an HP reverb headset and then go, this thing has a fucking wire on it, right? Because that's what I, I would say that if, if uh, someone was like, try this headset, and then I got it, and it, oh, I has to plug into a computer? What if you don't have a computer? You have to buy a, 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 a freaking computer? What kind of world is this? Is this isn't VR, you know, whatever. Uh, so I just want you to know it does have a cable. That's it. So the Quest doesn't have a cable. Okay, enough talking. Here we go. Here is the song. I apologize. I just get really passionate about these these topics. Okay, so we're gonna start with a brand new, uh, brand new loop position. And if any of you guys know Bobby McFerrin, uh, hopefully you'll like this song. This is a very this is a, a tribute to Bobby McFerrin. Um, enjoy. No wait. Uh. Yeah, that'll work. Here we go. I was doing. Okay, guys. Right now, for your listening pleasure, this comes all the way from Sweden by way of Senegal. Get ready. Get ready for one of the most intense things you're ever going to experience. You're gonna, you're gonna be like, holy. Holy cows, you know? When you hear this, that's not it. When you hear this, no, that's not it. When you, when you guys hear, wait till you hear this thing. No. Hold on a second. Wait till you hear it. It's gonna really, it's gonna, it's gonna blow you. It's gonna blow you. No, that's no, not it. No. no. Okay, there we go. We found it. Wait, wait till you hear this. You're gonna be so impressed.
great oh my god you guys are so good thank you thank you guys it's time to check out snack corner so let's go check out snack corner let's see what's going on in snack corner come on guys here we go we're going to snack corner little jack snack corner okay oh here we go hi guys welcome to snack corner we provide all the snacks we can 
uh, as virtually as we can. Let's see what we've got today. Looks like we have a box right here. I wonder what's in this box, everybody. Let's go take a look. Hold on, let me go take a look. Okay, I'm not I'm not seeing anything in there. There's nothing in the box. Okay, guys, this is a real exciting moment. Let's go see what is in on this shelf. Okay, I can't show you that. Hold on, I guess I'm gonna there's gotta be a snack around here. Somewhere. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Uh let's see if we can oh yeah, look at that. Whew. That's a real that's a a real snack there. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can grab. Oh, I can't. I can't grab that. Hold on. Maybe if I back away. I'm gonna back away, and then I'm gonna approach the graphic. Okay. Here we go. No. Okay. Oh, here we go. I think I got. Guys, I got it. I grabbed the snack. <laughs> this is so incredible. Okay. So. Oh, and there's a floating. There's a. Okay, I see. Go snack. This is cool. So this is called uh, s uh, quantum snack entanglement. Uh, this can happen in VR a lot. Uh, once you find an equally paired uh, snack, uh, it will operate independently, but in uh, collaboration with another snack. So th these are tethered together. It's pretty amazing. Um, let's uh, let's see if we can get this snack to someone that's really hungry. Um, let's see, I'm going to have to teleport over here because I, I can't. Oh, there we go. Would you like a snack? Anybody like a snack? Would you like a snack? Here. There you go. That's a snack for you. You can have that snack. Go ahead and have that snack. Anybody else going to have that snack? Take that snack. You got to take that snack. You want to take that snack? You going to take that snack. Someone got that snack. Snack's out in the wild now. Snack's out on the floor. Got a floor snack. We have a, I'm going to, my next thing that I'm going to make, it's a food product. I've never made a food product, but I'd like to make a food product, and I'm going to call it um, uh, s Slee Snacks for all of you Land of the Lost uh, nerds out there that love Land of the Lost. They're going to call it, they're gonna call it sl Slee Snacks uh, in honor of the creatures known as the Slee Stacks. So pretty exciting stuff, really, if you think about it. Um, now... Let me check the fridge real quick. I don't think there's anything in there, but let me check. No, I don't see anything in there. Well, we're going to go to Poetry Corner, which is over here. Let's see. Upstairs. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Is it here? No, it's not Poetry. C hold on. Poetry Corner. Okay, hold on. It's over here. Guys, here. Let's go. Let's see. Go to Poetry Corner up here. Here we go. I think this is the way to Poetry. <laughs> if any of you guys play the video game known as The Division 2, uh, Alt Space based its whole layout on on The Division 2. So, that's some kind of a fun little snack. There's a mystery hot dog flying around in the air if anybody wants to catch it. Um, if you catch the hot dog, you get um, four free next generation VR headsets. Um, it's going to be amazing. Four, four free next generation VR headsets. Insane. Okay, so here we go. This is a poetry corner. We're going to do a quick quick poem. Goes like this. As I saw her walk across the ocean, the last thing she needed was the first thing she saw. Those around knew her to be that of one of wisdom. This of one of wisdom was heard by all, and she doth respond in such non-agony. The fiercest of them all were people who tended to see them as what they were, tall, foreboding, irreproachable, and yet they had the courage to interact. This interaction yielded a response that was so insane, people were like, hey man, don't fucking do that anymore. 
Okay, so that's the end of Poetry Corner. We're going to go over here and do our tradition. This is a traditional song. You guys hopefully will like it. I have to go over to this side. Hey, man, how you doing? Uh, we've got a couple minutes here. I'm going to go right here. I'm just going to stand here. And this is going to be, a, this is a song. Hi, how are you? Um, actually, uh, you know, I usually I, I interview somebody, but, you know, maybe let's interview somebody real quick. Let's, you know, might as well. There's there's people here. Um, let's see who we got. We're going to do some a quick interview here with uh, Camouflage. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's, how how about you, miss? How are, how are you? You've got, you've got a checkered shirt on. You look really good and healthy. You got a good, good nose on you. And a lot of people get good noses in Alt Space VR. Are you? Do you have a? You have a headset with a microphone? Are you able to talk? No. Yes, I do. Oh, there we go. She's here, guys. All right. How's it going? Going, doing wonderful today. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> wonderful. Pumped up. The show is just awesome. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you're having a good time. It's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a, a, a slee stack, as we say in VR. Uh, but uh, what what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm uh, I'm retired right now. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. What did you do before you retired? I was a business owner for 30 years. That's what I'm talking about. Was it manufacturing? Uh, oh, manufacturing. Dope. Yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, I love it. was a living. Yeah, it was a living. <laughs> it was a living. It's so true. <laughs> Where are you currently located? In what what area? In Minnesota, close to Minneapolis. Ah, Minnesota. Yeah. Yes. That's great. Princetown. Close to Princeton. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh well thanks for joining us. This is cool. I'm glad, guys. This this you know. We have manufacturers here. It's not every day we get manufacturers uh, here, or former manufacturers. So Yes, for... made enough money, I sold, and I'm done. <laughs> yes, good job. Now it's party time. Yeah, <laughs> woohoo! <laughs> Guys, hit her, hit her up. She's great. If you have any questions about starting a business, about manufacturing, please contact her. She's amazing. Uh, what's your name? Rhonda. Rhonda. So contact Rhonda yeah. if you have guys have questions about manufacturing. I think you're gonna you're gonna love the answer she's gonna give. Very experienced person. You're gonna love her. Rhonda from Minneapolis. Well, from outside of Minneapolis. Big round of applause. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. I also want to see who this White Walker is. Who's who's this guy? Where is he? Where, is he behind me? Am I, I keep up? Oh, where, where is he? No. Where? No. Where is he? No. Right, where? Hey. Where is he? over here where is he oh there he is that guy who is this guy what's up Reggie? how's it hey, going hey how you doing <laughs> how did how'd you get so great out yeah i don't know i haven't been out in the sun in a good while <laughs> <laughs> you left you left your avatar in the sun <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey don't leave your this is i mean it looks cool but if just in case you're wondering like if you do leave your avatar out in the sun like if you guys are walking around not inside that much with your avatars they will get bleached out, so that, that's exactly our evidence. Yeah, so <laughs> but it's, it looks it looks fantastic. Where you are? are where are you currently? Glasgow. Uh, Belfast. Belfast. Northern oh, Island. nice. Yeah. Belfast. Yeah. Have I been to Belfast? No, I guess I've never been to Belfast. That's weird. Mm. Well, thanks for being here. Good show, Reggie. Enjoy. <laughs> it's late where you're at. You you hanging in there? Yes, I stayed up especially. Oh <laughs> man. You're the best. Yeah. Thank you, man. Have a good night. I'll shake your hand. Oh, cheers, Reggie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, if you're in Belfast, make sure to say hello. You'll be able to recognize this avatar. It's super yep, bleached out from the, the sun. So, yep. um, well, <laughs> thanks a lot for staying up, man. I really do appreciate it. This next song will be for you. Okay, this will be the last song. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Okay, guys. So, follow me out here. Thanks again, man. Uh, follow me out here. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna end like we normally do. Next week we got some crazy surprises for you, so uh, be ready for that. But uh, I got a special song I'm gonna cue up for you here. Um, and as usual, I'm gonna do some hold music. I'm gonna try to use my headset's camera to uh, not move my headset, so I can do a little hold music here. <laughs>
Uh, next week we might do a, a one of my famous controller stra stacks. I love the controller stack. It's a really great, fun thing. You just keep stacking controllers on top of one another. So we're going to do that next week. A lot of fun things we're going to do next week. Hope you guys uh, feel good about yourselves because you guys look fantastic. Uh, hang out. Ha hang in there. And remember, uh, always hold your leaders accountable. Hooray. 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 Um, guys, it's been absolutely wonderful. I hope that, uh, oh cool, I got a new picture. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Um, guys, uh, I'll be talking to you soon, uh, sooner than you guys m might even imagine. So, I'm pretty excited about that. And, uh, we'll be, I guess, yeah, I guess I'm going to talk to you real soon. Oh, and be, by the way, 
Uh, there's a way that you can win a free. Uh, oh, thank you. I love you too. Um, there, there's there's a way that you can win a free uh, Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. And I'm gonna give you those details right now. All you have to do is, and there's a there's a high chance that you could win it. So um, all you have to do is just sign into um, uh, my personal uh, contest account, which is called uh, Porsche. Uh, Ha 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 